Markaba Harper's Bazaar Arabia, it's Sophia Tilbury and I'm so excited to be here today because I'm going to be showing you Charlotte's iconic look in Pillow Talk. These are the most gorgeous, universally flattering tones. You've got all these gorgeous pink tones, these peachy tones, and it's really easy because you've got four steps, which is Prime Enhance Smoke Pop. So I'm gonna start by using Charlotte's Prime shade, which is a gorgeous champagne rose goldy shade. And I'm going in with my blender brush. And this is a really sh easy shade to use because you can just wash, can you close your eyes for me? You can just wash this shade all over the eyes. And you can kind of bring that up to the brow bone because it's such a light shade. And this is really gonna highlight your brow bone and actually give you a mini brow lift. And I actually like to wear this shade sometimes on its own if you're in a rush and you just want a really natural look, you can just wear the shade completely on its own as well, which is nice. So I'm just going backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper. That's a little trick Charlotte taught me. And I'm just blending that all over the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with my smudger brush. And I'm just gonna use this, if you look over that, this is an old Hollywood trick. I'm just gonna use this in the inner corner of the eye. And this is just gonna really brighten up Sarah's eyes. And make them appear a lot bigger. And then I'm just gonna use this underneath your lash line. So if you look up, and I'm only gonna use this halfway. But it's a little trick just to brighten up your eyes. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So if you close your eyes. Next, I'm going to be using the Enhanced shade, and this is one of my favorite shades. It's this gorgeous pink tone, a kind of rosy tone. And um, I've used this on so many different celebrities recently. Everyone's been absolutely in love with it. And I've used it on the Victoria's Secret models, which I've been doing a lot recently. And um, at the Victoria's Secret show, we also use this palette. So what I'm doing with this tone, with the shade, I am using my blender brush again, and I'm kind of just washing this color all over the eye. And it's a gorgeous pink shade. And you can just see how it's really contouring the eye beautifully. And what I like to do with this shade is kind of use it on the outer corner of the eye, extending it up, creating a soft cat eye shape. And you can't really go wrong with these shades because they're so light and the matte texture is so easy to use and so soft. So I'm just gonna add a bit of the enhanced shade underneath Sarah's eyes with a smudger brush, if you look up. And I'm focusing that on the outer corner of the eye, kind of just bringing it into the middle. And that's really just gonna contour the eye lightly. So to dial this look up for the evening, you can use this gorgeous smoke shade, which is this peachy brown, and it's really flattering on every skin tone. And I'm just gonna use this again with my, with my blender brush. And I'm gonna use this to really contour the eye. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this into the crease of your eye, into the socket, close your eye. And I'm just gonna contour it. I'm going backwards and forwards, but just keeping that in the center of the eye the outer corner of the eye and just create a lot of dimension because I like to keep the front area quite bright which is just going to open up Sarah's eyes and then I'm just extending it outwards and you can always just use your finger to buff it out as well. And then again, I'm gonna go in with my smudger brush and just use a bit of the smoke shade on the outer corner of the eye. And that's just gonna connect the dots. I think this is my favorite part. I'm gonna pop the look. And I'm gonna be using Charlotte's Gorgeous Pop Shade, which has these gold and peachy and pink tones and these look amazing on the eyes. And you can really wear this in the day or in the evening. And I'm just gonna use my finger to use this because it's 
it gives you much better payoff. So I'm just gonna use my finger like so. And I'm just gonna tap this into the center of the eye. You can see how beautiful that looks. So as it's party season, this is the perfect palette, especially when you apply the pop shade. And the nice thing about this pop shade is that you can use this on lots of different eye looks. It's kind of like an eyeshadow topper. I'm just gonna layer this a couple of times. And another little trick I like to do is I'm gonna use my smudger brush and just use this look up in the middle of the eye. And this is also gonna pop your eyes and create a little halo effect. So next, I'm going to be creating a feline flick, and apparently here in Dubai, they call it Sophia's feline flick, which is amazing. And I'm going to create this by using Charlotte's powder pencil in Audrey, and I always finish every look with a feline flick. So if you look at me, so a little trick I like to do is I really like to keep it close to the lash line. So if you close your eyes, and just create a really thin line. I don't like it to be too thick because then it really covers up a lot of your lid and then you can't see as much of the shadow and I think it's much more flattering if you do a thinner line. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of this into the inner corner of the eyes. And this is a great pencil because it's a powder pencil. So it moves quite easily. So if you are creating a flick, it's quite easy just to take off and just reapply. And it's very soft as well. So if you look straight at me, so another little trick I like to do is put, is add a dot of where I want the flick to end. And another thing I like to do is instead of stopping where the eye ends, I like to actually extend it a bit further down and then lift up. And I'm just connecting the dots together. Kind of creating a triangular shape. So I'm going to start by curling Sarah's lashes and if you look down. And to finish my eye look, I'm using Lashings and Lashings or Full Fat Lashes Mascara. So I'm just going to apply this in an upwards motion and the great thing about this mascara is that it's really buildable. So if you're just wearing a couple layers uh, of mascara at work then and then you're going to an event afterwards you can just reapply this mascara and it still separates your lashes and creates volume without it getting clumpy. Where I, which I find that a lot of mascaras do get really clumpy. You have to end up taking your makeup off before you go out, but this one is extremely buildable. And that's why I love it so much. Another little trick I like to do is actually use my brush like this and just use the tapered end and actually focus that into the root of the lashes. And that's really gonna add volume. And it's a great way just to separate your lashes at the same time. So now I'm just going to use the tapered end of my brush and look up and I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes and this is a really easy way just to get all those little hairs. And it doesn't clump up your bottom lashes. If you use it this way, I find it really clumps up your lashes, but if you use it, use it this way, it really makes them look separated. This is something I am so excited about because I've been waiting for Charlotte to create some lashes and she's just come out with four different types of lashes. And today I'm gonna to be using the red carpet lash and this is actually one of my favorite lashes. So these are great for party season. I mean, I think in Dubai, everyone wears a lash every day, but, um, and so does Charlotte. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the red carpet lash 
and I use lashes on every single red carpet, on every celebrity. I really feel like this finishes an eye look. And these are really easy to put on. They're really light. Open. Wow, they look amazing on you. A little trick I like to do is actually add a couple coats of mascara just to connect your natural lashes to the lash. And you can use these lashes up to three times as well. But you can just see if you do add a bit of mascara, it just intensifies them a bit more. So a little trick I like to do is use this white eye pencil. And I'm just gonna use this inside your eyes just to brighten up your eyes. And this really makes them appear a much bigger and brighter. And this is something great to use kind of on your wedding day or in the daytime. And the nice thing about this pencil is that it's not completely white. It's kind of got a creaminess color to it. So it looks very, very natural. So next I'm gonna be using Charlotte's iconic Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner. And one of these products sells every two minutes. So I'm gonna start by using Charlotte's Pillow Talk Lip Liner. So with this, I always kind of like to cheat someone's lips a bit. And I feel like here in Dubai, everyone loves bigger lips, and 100%. so do I. So I'm just going to cheat the bow of your lips. And I feel like this is a really great way to make it look really natural. Because I feel like you don't want to look like you've cheated your lips. You kind of just want to look like you've got really big lips, and which you already do. But um, this is a great shade because it kind of matches the natural tone of people's own, um, of your own lip colour. Look at me gorgeous. Oh god, you look amazing. <laughs> so everyone is obsessed with the Pillow Talk Lip Lustre, and I am loving this too. It's a gorgeous, warm, pinky nude shade. So I'm just gonna add a couple layers of this, and it's a really great way to dial up your look, or just to make your lips look really nourished and kind of moisturized as well. Oh my God, I love this. So for a final kiss of color, I'm going to be using Charlotte's Pillow Talk Chic to Chic Blush. And this is actually one of my favorite blushes. It's because it's the only blusher that actually has a highlight in the middle of it. So it's a blusher and a highlighter at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So what I like to do here is swish and pop. So I'm just gonna go around on the outside, which is a gorgeous pinky rosy shade. And I'm just gonna swish that all over your cheek on the apples of your cheeks, going backwards and forwards in a circular motion. So guys, that is the finished Pillow Talk look. I'm absolutely in love with this look. I feel like it's really dreamy, it's really gorgeous, it's really romantic. And if you guys wanna see any more signature looks or any more upcoming looks, just follow me on Instagram.